The image you all saw came from a vastly sophisticated scientific collaboration called the Event Horizon Telescope. This project involved over 200 scientists in 20 different countries that have been working together for nearly a decade. I am one of those scientists. The black hole we pictured was at the centre of the Messier 87 galaxy, about 55 million light years away. It's an understatement to say we were excited. Imagine how much resources this all cost, the politics that had to be juggled to maintain the working relationship between all the countries involved, the internal fights about theories and proposed ideas. It wasn't easy, but we succeeded. So, it was heartbreaking when we decided not to show the public what we found. What is circulating in news articles and social media is fake. To understand everything, first, one has to understand what a black hole is. It isn't just some hole punched the void like they are in cartoons, somehow a flat disk existing in our 3D space. The dark spot shown in the picture is also surrounded in a flare of light. To put it simply, a black hole is black because of a singularity or a region where the very fabric of time and space has collapsed in on itself, forming a single point with infinite density. It is just as grand as you can imagine. If you know anything about gravity and its relation to density, then you can imagine how powerful the gravity is at that single point. Light coming from behind and in front is swallowed up when it gets too close. It's swallowed and effectively removed from the universe. But then, why is the ring brighter than the perceivable light around it? This part is harder to simplify, but I will try. The innermost edge where the light starts isn't actually the event horizon. It's known as the photon orbit. Its diameter is about two and a half times larger than where the event horizon starts, meaning the black hole is even smaller than what you probably thought it was at first glance. We can see the moon because light bounces off of it. However, light sadly doesn't make it when heading to a black hole. The light ring is an interesting story. Simply put, the sheer gravity of the black hole warps light close by. Light, fortunate enough to not get swallowed, but unfortunate enough to be affected, is shot around and carried on a trajectory dictated by the curve of the black hole's gravity. To picture it, imagine how water curves when you turn on a tap and it hits the back of a spoon. That's what we're seeing, the white splash of the water, which silhouettes the spoon, showing us it exists, but never being able to see the spoon. Everything had to go right for this image to exist. There had to be some radiation emanating around the black hole, and it had to have a direct path to Earth, without any celestial object knocking it off course. Eight observatories all over the world had to sync up their clocks perfectly to an absurdly specific degree. Everything had to be perfect. And it was. At least, that's how far public knowledge goes. Because if you see the real image, the quality was much higher. We weren't apprehensive at first. Our desire to relish in our achievement trumped our thoughts of concern. We sent it around the various other labs involved in the collaboration, telling them not to share it, but letting them bask in the glow of victory. We are told a number of press that we might have something to show, and we were in the process of putting together a press release, when we were interrupted with a reply from a concerned scientist. He simply told us, to look closer. 
The message's lack of detail puts us on edge. A common sentiment is when a scientist finds something, we tend to go overboard in details. It's in our nature. The blunt message made us apprehensive, and we took it as a serious tone to slow down. We took to the scans and decided to explore the closer details, something we were planning on doing together after getting approval from the board. Checking the perimeter, we saw nothing out of place. It was what we expected. Various degrees of heat picked up by the radio telescope, the temperatures represented by the shades of color. By seeing nothing, mutters of confusion murmured around the lab. We looked again, nothing. We looked again, nothing. A cycle which we were used to, repetitive testing being in our nature. It wasn't until the voice of stupidity spoke up that we tried something different. Why don't you try looking in the middle? A lot of us scoffed. It was a black hole. It was mathematically impossible for anything to be in the middle. If there was, it'd be a speck on the sheet or a glitch on the computer. The whole point of the experiment was to see the black hole by not seeing it, by using the silhouette of the light to show its whereabouts. So, when we did decide to humor the request and ran a number of filters, we all froze when something stood out. Theories were spat out in hushed conversations. Some thought we didn't catch a black hole, but some other space anomaly. Others thought this proved that there was a problem with the sensors and that our decades of research was a failure. We would have went along with any of these theories if something didn't stand out. The fact that the shape resembled something. Random smears, sure. It could be played off as a sensor problem or a glitch, but it wasn't random. The space anomaly would be believable if we weren't 100% sure we were aimed at the right section of the Messier 87 galaxy, exactly where the black hole should have been. This had to have been a picture of the black hole. So, the question that lingered in the silence was, why was there something in the middle? There were a few specks of white and gleams of jagged angles that outlined something so alien, but with a feeling of familiarity. There was no doubting that what we were seeing was the front of a face. None of us could come to a consensus of what it truly looked like though. Some said it vaguely resembled an animalistic creature, eyes and a jagged mouth. Some thought it looked vaguely human. You would think the uncertainty would have eased us into thinking we were simply imagining it. But no matter who we asked, everyone claimed to see a face. A face that was perfectly centered, big enough to demand its own faint outline of light, which meant it was cosmically big. That it had a gravity field that could curve light. This is where things started to feel grim. It was in the center, big enough to be detected by our radio telescope, but so in line with the black hole that it didn't disturb as much as a pixel of the outer ring's light. It was centered, which we all agreed, made it look like it was staring directly back at us. Our collective hearts sank when we all came to the same realization. It was looking towards Earth. Not only that, but from its faint outline, we determined it was moving. It was heading towards Earth. The black hole is 55 million light years away 
which meant that what we saw was a snapshot of the distant past, from an era where dinosaurs ruled. But there is no solace knowing this is from the past, because that only meant that whatever it was has had a head start. It saw Earth many millions of years ago, and took it upon itself to come this way. We don't know how close it was when it was pictured. We don't know how fast it can move. We have no idea the true scale of the beast. We do not have any ideas of what it wants. But it wants something from us. And it has been traveling for millions of years to get it. Everyone involved in the Event Horizon project has been sworn to secrecy. We were immediately ordered to create a fake image to satiate the press, one based on the original, but of a much lower quality, as to show the world the worth of space research, but giving them nothing to be worried about. Funds are being organized from some countries, extorted from others, at a rapid pace for more research. Nothing is being held back. All of our worldly perceptions have been altered. Some scientists have disappeared, choosing to stay at home to be with their families, while others have chosen to practically live at the lab, desperate to find out a grain of information from this vast beach of a mystery. We have not given up, and neither should you. Be aware, but not scared. And maybe find some humor in the fact that a space Force may not have been such a bad idea after all. <laughs>